And I think that can create a lot of despair, a lot of disappointment. And really, it's just a natural process that you're going through. And it is why so few businesses make it past a million dollars. The best business owners can move from failure to failure without losing desire. That didn't work, I'm still going. That didn't work, I'm gonna go again. That didn't work, I'm gonna go again. And I'm not gonna retreat. I'm not gonna go and do something easier. I'm gonna take a sideways movement and I'm gonna go again. What I predict will happen to you if it's not already happening to you as a business owner, leader. When you first start your business, you get so much progress and you get so much momentum quickly. It feels like whatever you swing at works. And you put something out and it works and you do this thing and it, and it fires and you measure your rates and nobody objects and you put on a workshop and it fills up and you put your first job ad up and somebody fills it. As the business gets bigger and the burden of the business gets heavier, you don't feel that success as quickly as you did three to five years ago. And you, you don't feel like you're making as much progress as you did three to five years ago. And I think a lot of disillusionment comes from that. That I always expected to make the progress that I did in the first two or three years forever. And I always expected to feel as excited as I did in the first two years forever. And I always expected to feel like everything that I touched worked. That not to one million, everything I touched worked. But now I'm stuck somewhere between two and trying to get to three. Oh shit, like eight things break and it's the ninth and the tenth before I get it. And it might be as I look back across the year and I think shit, eight things went against me this year. But as long as I got those one or two things right, I'm going to make progress. But the smaller business owner, the first one or two years, is getting eight things right and only one or two wrong. And they don't even really realize that they got one or two wrong because they're so crowded by, if you like, their successes, their results. So the feeling changes as the business grows as well. And I think that can create a lot of despair, a lot of disappointment. And really, it's just a natural process that you're going through. And it is why so few businesses make it past a million dollars. As I watch it and reflect on it and, and understand it and see other masterminds, guys I'm with, all of this is where it, 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 it is, right? Like your business plan and your strategy and your marketing plan and all that, it's all needed. But when you have a really good understanding and a deep understanding of actually what you're going through, it makes it so much easier to come out, to keep going, to keep swinging the bat. And, and to be able to move from failure to failure without losing desire. Typical business owner, hires a front desk gal, gal quits five days later, that's it for, for three months. Retreats, emotionally recovers, plucks up the courage to go again, puts the same job ad up, hires another dummy, she quits within two weeks or he quits within two weeks, boom, retreats again. Well, class business owner puts the job ad up, knows that it's probably a 50-50 call. If the girl's still there within two weeks, it's fucking great. If it's not, if she's not, that's great as well. And there's a new person in on day 15. That's, that's the ability to move from failure to failure without losing desire. I'm going to do this. I just have to go through this to get that bit. I'm, I'm going to do this. And I'm anticipating that there will be some failures along the way, but that's not going to cause me any damage whatsoever on my ability to want to go get it. I wonder how many times that's happened to you this year already. Failure, setback, retreat, regroup, emotionally recover, work out how you feel about it all, reconsider your options, consider whether or not you want to be out of network, in network, whether or not you want to scale or you don't want to scale, whether you want to sell or you don't want to sell, whether or not you want to go into property or you don't want to go into property, whether or not you want to go over here and just toss the whole thing off. Oh, fuck, well, that took me four months to figure out, well, actually, I'll just get back on and grow on this business. Okay, let's go and hire again. Oh, that didn't work out again. Oh, shit, let me go back. Oh, this fucking Medicare thing, if it wasn't for them, story of anybody's life. <laughs>